Hey. 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 Oh, Lord, there you are. What do you mean, Tush? What? I'm looking at the casting out of the money lenders. I don't care about that. I've been looking for you for the last half hour. We said we'd meet in front of the Flemish masters. No, we didn't. Dad, we never said anything of the sort. When I last saw you, you were in the Pissarro, weren't you? That's right. Well, I said I'd meet outside the abstracts. We'd go through the old Greco, up the Van Eyck, and I'd see you in front of the bloody Rubin. <laughs> no. I said I was going to go round the Velasquez, through the abstracts, up the impressionists, and then in front of the Flemish master. No, you didn't, Dad. It doesn't matter anyway. Here, I have a sandwich. My feet are killing me. <laughs> What's that got to do with the sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. I just said it afterwards, that's well, all. Well, we shouldn't say things like that together. It could confuse a stupid person. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Pete, I reckon, uh, I reckon there's a lot of rubbish in this gallery, you really, know. Yeah. yeah. Well, not only rubbish, Dad, there's a lot of muck about. Yeah. I've been looking all over the place for something good. Yeah. I've been looking for that lovely green gypsy lady. You know the one with yeah. Percy Corey done? <laughs> with a that. lovely shining skin. Where is she? Nowhere. Nowhere. <laughs> so I went up to the manager. I said, yeah, I got him by the collar. I said, here. Yeah. yeah. I said, here. Yeah. Threatened me, did <laughs> You didn't spit sandwich at him, did you? Sorry, <laughs> Pete. Blimey. I thought about that. No, I said, here. Yeah, you'll do it again if you're not careful. <laughs> I said, where? <laughs> Come on, what do you say, Dad? I said, where's that bloody Chinese flying horse in? What did you say? He said, get out. <laughs> So I had to run up the Impressionists for half an hour, and I had yeah, yeah. You know, but what I can't understand, frankly, Pete, is that uh, there's not a Vernon Ward gallery in here. There's not a duck in the building. There's no Peter Scott. There's no Vernon Ward. Not a duck to be seen. Nothing. <laughs> no. And a marvellous thing about Vernon Ward is, of course, he's been doing ducks all his life. Well, he's done more ducks than you've had hot breakfast down there. <laughs> He's done plenty of ducks. If he's done anything, he's done ducks. Yeah. He's done ducks in all positions. Yeah. Yeah. Ducks in the morning. <laughs> ducks in the morning, ducks in the evening, ducks in the summertime. What's that song? That's ducks in the morning, ducks in the evening, ducks in the summertime. Yeah. I thought well, I recognised it. Of course you did, you said it. Yeah. Uh, the thing what makes you know that Vernon Ward is a good painter, if you look at his ducks, have you ever looked at his ducks? Yeah. If you look at his ducks, you see the eyes follow you around the room. <laughs> Do you notice that? Yeah. If you see 16 of his ducks, you see 32 little eyes following you around the room. No, you only see 16. Because they're flying sideways and you can't see the other eye on the other side. No, but you get the impression, Dad, that the other eye is craning round the beak to look at you, don't you? <laughs> That's a sign of a good painting, Dad. If the eyes follow you around the room, it's a good painting. If they don't, it isn't. Yeah, it's funny you say that, Pete, because I was in the bathroom the other day. Of course you were, Dad, oh. I remember that. Of course I was, Pete. <laughs> and uh, I had the feeling, I had the feeling of somebody in the room with me, you know. Yeah. I thought, funny, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Bathroom door locked, you know, funny. Somebody in the room with me. Funny, funny you know. Yeah. Didn't see no one come in. I thought, funny. you know, felt these eyes burning in the back of my head. Funny, you know. <laughs> so, uh, I whip round like a flash. I see the bloody laughing cavalier up there. <laughs> having a giggle. I said, yeah, I felt so embarrassed, you know. You would, yeah. So I went out the bathroom and I went across to Mrs. Connolly's across the road and asked if I could use her toilet. Yeah. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, you feel a bit daft with her. Somebody looking at the back of you. Yeah. She's, she's all right, though, because she's only got a bowl of pansies in her toilet. A <laughs> real bowl of pansies or a painting, Dad? A uh, real painting, Pete. Oh, that's all yeah. right, then. I'll tell you what's even worse, Dad, than the Laughing Cavalier. What's that, Pete? Can you think of anything worse? No, There Pete. is something worse than the Laughing Cavalier, which my auntie Muriel has. She has the bloody Mona Lisa in her, no, in her really? toilet, yes. Oh, dreadful, yeah. that awful sniffy look about her, looking so superior, you know, <laughs> peering down at you. She looks as if she'd never been to the lab in the life. You know? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's the thing about the laughing cavalier, at least he has a giggle, he doesn't he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Don't sit there all prissy. Don't no, you, man, you no. know. Yeah. Disapproving of you. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's dreadful. Yeah. Have you been down to the Rubens? No. You haven't seen the Rubens? No. That's one over there. Who's there? Yes, lovely. He does all the fat ladies with nothing on. Great pink fat ladies. Yeah. Except for a tiny little wisp of gauze. Always lands on the appropriate place, if you know what Yeah. Always the wind blows a little bit of gauze over you know where now. Yeah. <laughs> See it down there, course, can't you? Of course, you know, it must be a million to one chance, Pete, that the gauze you know, lands in the right place at the right time is, yeah. when he's painting. I bet there's thousands of paintings that we're not allowed to see where the, where the cause and la landed in the, in the right place, yeah. you know, it's on their nose or something. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Well, I suppose if the gorse landed on the wrong place, Dad, you know, landed on the nose or the elbow or somewhere unimportant, what Rubens did was put down his paint and went off to have lunch, probably. Yeah, or have a good look. Yeah. One of the two. <laughs> of course, you don't get gorse floating around in the air these days, do no, you? you? Like you did in Renaissance time. No. There's always gorse in the air in those days. Yeah. Of course, uh, similarly, you don't, you don't get them... Um, them Botticelli cherubs oh, about that place. little Botticelli thing, yeah. They've all gone. Yeah. They've died out, of course. I hunted them down for their sink silken skin, you know, Dad. No, they couldn't, I couldn't kill them, Pete, because they were immortal. No, they weren't. They shot them through with arrows through their tiny little bellies and then oh. their skin was turned into underwear for rich ladies. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What happened? I reckon they went up to heaven like the angels. No, they didn't. Of uh, course, there's no call for angels now. No, you there, don't it? see much of them these days, no, do you? No. Uh, Mrs. Wisby saw one actually the other day in the garden. <laughs> yeah. yeah, she saw this angel. Actually, it turned out to be a burglar. <laughs> she went down. She went down on her knees praying to it. It was in the kitchen whipping away her silver. Nasty <laughs> <laughs> business. Yeah, terrible. Have you seen that bloody Leonardo da Vinci cartoon? No. I couldn't see the bloody joke. <laughs> Went down there, nothing. Yeah. Well, of course, you know, Peter, uh, a sense of humour must have changed over the years, well, of you know. Of course that's why I, it's not funny. No. I bet when that Da Vinci cartoon first came out, I bet people were killing themselves. <laughs> you know? I bet, I bet old Da Vinci had an accident when he done it. Yeah. <laughs> but it's difficult to see the joke, just that lady sitting there with the children round her. It's not much of a joke as far as I'm concerned, Dad. No, well, apart from that, Peter, it's a different culture. Yeah. It's, it's Italian, you Italian see. Italian, eight, 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 eight. We don't understand it. I mean, for instance, the mouse trap did terribly in Pakistan. No, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, I still don't... Do you know how much it costs, though? What? 500 billion pounds. Really? A lot of money. No, hold on a moment. Uh, three and eight, I think. Oh. <laughs> or somewhere between the somewhere two. Between somewhere between the two. Between the two. <laughs> Another thing we've wasted money on is that bloody Cezanne, Grand Baigneurs. Yeah. Have you seen that load of rubbish? No. It's over there. Oh, there yeah. it is, those fat nude ladies with their bottoms towards you. Yeah. That's Le Grand Baigneurs, you know what it means, don't you? What's it? Big bathers. Is that all? That's all it means, yeah. big bathers. 500,000 quid we pay for that. Those nude women come out of our pocket, Dad. Yeah. That's, that's worth more than... Uh, it's worth more than Tottenham Hotspur, isn't it, eh? Well, it's worth about the same now they sign Gilzine at centre forward, but yeah. it's not worth 500,000 quid, that load, is it? Works out about 50,000 pounds of body, did not it? Well, you could get the real nude ladies over there for that price. Yeah. <laughs> My Aunt Dolly would have done it for nothing. <laughs> she does anything for nothing, doesn't she, Aunt Dolly? Yeah. Build the old car. <laughs> You enjoying that sandwich? <laughs> Mine's appalling, I'll tell you that much. It's worse than the paintings, my uh, sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to that, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell. I know, you've just seen the Leonardo da Vinci joke, have you? Yeah. <laughs> but, I must say, you can't tell whether that's a good painting or not, because you can't see their eyes, whether they follow you around the room. <laughs> no, the sign of a good painting like that, Dad, with their backs towards you, is if the bottoms follow you around the room. <laughs> it's a good painting, the bottoms would follow you around the room. All right? Yeah. So I'll test it then. You go and have a look. Yeah, all right. I'll go and see if they... They won't, they won't bloody budge, I'll tell you that, mate. <laughs> of course, I can't look directly at it. No. Otherwise, you know, you'll know I'm looking and yeah. they get all cagey. I've got, you know, a quick bite. Are they moving, Dad? 
I think they're following me, Pete. I don't think they are, Dad. I reckon they are, Pete. No, those bottoms aren't following you around the room. Your eyes are following the bottoms around the room. <laughs> Same thing, isn't it? Of course it isn't. A good deal of difference being followed by a bottom and you following a bottom. It's totally different. Well, you come here then. You see what I mean. I don't see anything at all. Just a load of bottoms. Extremely stationary to me. Well, you go that way and I'll go this way and you see if your bottoms move the same as mine. Oh, we're a bit difficult for the bottoms, won't we, if you go in different directions. <laughs> well, they'll divide up amongst themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see what happens. Mine are moving, Pete, I'll tell you. Oh, my bottoms haven't moved, Dad. Mine are going berserk. No, mine are not moving at all. Mine's moving, Pete. Oh, there goes one of yours. That's right. Oh, it's rushing all over the place. It's coming after you, Dad. No, don't be daft, Pete. See you in the Dutch Masters. Bye, right, Hello. <laughs>